All right. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, depending on where you're coming from. Hopefully you had an awesome weekend. Happy Monday. We are going to get started here. So if, have, if you have your uh, band, have that out. Uh, we aren't going to use it right away here, but if you don't have one, that's fine too. But we'll start off with a few stretches and then we'll get on to some of those exercises. So either sitting at the edge of your chair or standing tall or sitting tall, right? You're going to keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. We're going to tilt our left ear to our left shoulder, feeling that stretch all the way through the right side of your neck. So you're keeping both shoulders nice and relaxed, sitting at the edge of your chair. Uh, sitting up tall or standing tall, you're simply just tilting your head to the side. You're going to feel that stretch on the right side. Good. We're going to hold this stretch for another five, four, three, two, one, now turn your head towards your armpit, left armpit. You can take your left hand around the back of your head and very gently pull your head closer to your left shoulder, keeping that right shoulder still nice and relaxed. Just holding here, still sitting or standing upright. So you're sitting up tall, standing tall. Not slouching one way or the other, just simply turning your head and looking down. So feel a good stretch behind that right ear all the way down the right side of your neck. Hold for another five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. We'll go to the other side now. So right ear tilting it to the side over your right shoulder. Just simply tilting your head to the side. Keeping that left shoulder nice and relaxed. I'm just going to hold here. Feeling that all the way down the left side of your neck. Good. Once again, just holding this stretch for another five, four, three, two, and one. Now turn your chin. Towards your right armpit, feeling that stretch behind your left ear all the way down the left side of your neck. If you want to, you can take your right hand, grab the back of your head, and very gently pull your head closer to your right shoulder. Still keeping your left shoulder nice and relaxed. Good, and hold for another five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Good. We're going to do some presses, some side-to-side -side, uh, presses. So you're going to feel the stretch into your shoulder blades. So keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed, you're going to bring your right arm over to the left, pressing away from you. You're going to feel that stretch in your right shoulder blade. And then you're going to bring your left arm over to the right, feeling that stretch in your left shoulder blade. So side-to-side. Good. Good. Do one more each direction. So one and one. And now we're going to bring our right and left arm over our head, kind of twisting our body belly button up. So as you're sitting, sitting in your chair or standing, you want to keep your hips facing forward the whole time. You're going to turn your body belly button up. So twisting your body, feeling that stretch on the right side of your back. And then going left arm over to the right side, feeling that on the left side of your back. Stretch that kind of big muscle just behind your armpits. That run all the way down to your hips. Mm -hmm. 
Good. One more each direction. One and one. Excellent work. All right, now you can get out your band. If you don't have your band, that's fine. You can just do the same exact motion that I'm doing, but without the band. So we're going to start off with the most reliable exercise when we're coming to posture, and it's that L retraction pattern. This is always the most, this is, I, my personal, personally, I think this is one of the most, most uh, greatest, the greatest exercise you can do as far as your posture. And that's why we do it so much, right? Because it helps practice muscle memory and uh, activating those muscles that will help us sit more upright throughout our day. But palms go up towards the sky, elbows bent at 90 degrees. You're going to drop your shoulders down towards your hips. Then you're going to bring your shoulder blades closer together to so your chest. We're not puffing it out, right? But it's open, right? We're, we're standing, standing upright. Brace your abdominal muscles. You're gonna tuck your chin back so your ears are over your shoulders. Sitting upright, standing upright. And now you're gonna bring your hands out. And then back in. And now something I want us to try today is slowing down our hands as they come back in towards the center. So you can bring your hands out and then slowly bring them back in. Four, three, two, one. Keeping your making sure you're in good posture the whole time. You're keeping those shoulders down towards your hips throughout the entire exercise, not letting them come up towards your ears. Good. Slowly coming back into center. You're going to feel this into the back of your shoulders and into your shoulder blades. But primarily, most people feel this into the back of those shoulders, and that's going to help your shoulders be more open. Rather than curving forward, you're going to be helping help keep your chest, your shoulders a little bit more back. But slowing it down on the way back in. Once again, if you don't have that band, you're doing the same exact motion, just without the band. Good. Let's do a few more. Good work. One. Two. Last one. And three. Excellent work there. Okay. So now you're going to take your right hand, still bent at 90 degrees. Okay. You're going to bring your right hand towards your chest, towards your stomach, I should say. Keeping that right shoulder down right shoulder back, right? So we're still practicing that, keeping that shoulder open, tucking your chin back to your ears or over your shoulders, bracing your abdominal muscles. You're gonna bring your hand out, keeping that elbow nice and close to your side. Trying to, I want you to do that kind of mind-body connection. I mean, you're trying to work this back muscle. So think about that. Say, so, okay, I'm gonna move my hand out by squeezing that back right muscle Bring my hand forward again. You don't need to go way out here. Nothing, no reason to go way out here like that. Keep those shoulders nice and level. Good. Keeping that elbow to your side. Good. We're isolating that right side. Now, if you wanted to, you could add some resistance to this by taking your band and holding on to it as you're bringing it out like that. All right. Or if you had it, if you have the setup, the band fastened to the wall, so you're just pulling, not having to use that left side. But I just want to isolate without any resistance, bringing that right, waking up those right shoulder muscles, those posterior shoulder muscles, and some of those shoulder muscles of the rotator cuff to help keep the right shoulder nice and open as you're doing this. 
keep that right elbow close to your side. Good, not letting the right shoulder come up towards your ears. Let's do two more. One. Good work. And there's two. Good. I can I'm focusing on myself as I'm really looking at that my screen, watching myself do this, make sure that right shoulder stays. And I noticed my eyes were squinting doing that. All right, so now left shoulder down towards your hip. Same exact exercise, just opposite side. We're isolating two different sides now. That way we can really focus all of our attention on one thing without having to think about the other side. All right, left shoulder or left elbow slightly bent, always keeping that close to your side. You start with your hand in front of you. Bring your hand out. And once again, you're bringing it in front of you. You don't need to bring it all the way around like that because then we're adjusting our body in a weird way, keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed and level. Good. Tucking your chin back to where your ears are over your shoulders. Do this. If you're sitting, be sure you're still sitting at the edge of your chair, sitting upright. Left shoulder is down towards your hip. Left shoulder blade closer to your spine. Helps keep your chest more open. Good. work. A few more here. Three more. Doing great. Waking up those shoulder muscles that are going to help us stay in good posture. And one, two more. Good. and relax. Okay, for this next one, you can either do this in like the corner of a room or uh, on the doorway of some sort. But we're gonna do that nice stretch. I feel like this would be a good one to um, do to kind of help us open up that right shoulder, or both shoulders really. But it'll be right here. So right elbow even with my right shoulder. You're gonna step. Sitting, standing upright, okay? You're not leaning forward with this. You're stepping through with that left foot forward. You're going to feel that stretch all the way through the front right side of your chest and into the right front right of your shoulder. You're going to feel a really nice stretch all the way through there. And we're just going to hold this. So again, you can do both sides at the same time. If you're at a corner of a room, you can just put both hands, step forward to that, that corner, get them all done, get both sides done with one stretch. Or same way, if you had a doorway, you could put both elbows up on the wall, step forward, and then you get your for both sides on one in one stretch. But we're kind of isolating, once again, one side or the other at this point. And relax. Good. Now our same same idea. We're gonna go left side. So left elbow, even with the left shoulder. You're stepping forward with that right foot. Feeling that stretch on the left side of your chest and into the front of your left shoulder. Feels good. This is always one of the better stretches. Like you can, you can really feel the stretch. You can really feel uh, that tension uh, relaxing throughout those front uh, forward muscles in the chest and into the shoulders. But that's why I like this stretch. You can relax is it really helps work on what we are kind of working on with those, with that shoulder opener, the external rotation, and then into those, that scapular retraction, 
all those, we were kind of training those muscles in the back of our shoulders and into our shoulder blades to be more open. And then when we stretch, a stretch just like that, that helps relieve some of the tension in those front shoulders and into our chest. So thanks for coming. We will see you all on Wednesday, same time. Have a great start to your week and enjoy Monday and Tuesday.